Quinn has done it again. They have just released a model which solves a real world problem. Let me first try to explain the problem. So most images you see on the web or in files are flat. Everything is blended together into one single layer like a photo as you can see on your screen where the background, people, text and objects are all stuck together. When you try to edit them with AI tools like changing one thing or moving a person or recoloring a shirt, this often messes up other parts, making the edit look unnatural or inconsistent or as I say, plasticky. Professional tools like Photoshop use layers. Separate transparent sheets stacked on top of each other so you can edit one thing without touching the rest. Quen image layered model solves this by automatically turning a flat image into these editable layers, making AI based image editing much more reliable and precise. And that is why I think this could be a game changer in a literal sense instead of like we use the hype word. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. In this video, we are going to install this coin image layer on our local system and we will see how exactly it works. And I will also be showing you the architecture in very simple words, but we will get to it a bit later in the video. For now, let's get started and this is my ubuntu system i'm going to use nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram but we will check how much it consumes i'm going to create a virtual environment with conda if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable price you can find the link to mass compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpu so please do check them out also if you're looking for ai updates without any hype without fluff please follow me on X. It says I haven't posted. It's not true. I actually do, as you can see here, but I'm not logged in anyway. So let's go back. And the next step, which we need to do is to install diffusers because this new model is already supported in that. So I'm just going to uh, install it. This is going to take a couple of minutes. And that is all done. Next up, I'm going to run this app.py script from my local system. This is a script which I have taken from their Hugging Face model card and I will drop the link in video's description. I have just put in some Gradio interface on top of it just so that we could play around it in the browser. So let's go back and run that in the terminal. And the first time when you run that script, it downloads some model with the text encoder. And the model is being downloaded. There are five shards of it, around 40 gig of size on the disk. And this is the Quen layered image pipeline, which is downloading everything. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is now running on our local system. Let's access it in the browser at localhost at port 7860. And there you go. The model is loaded and it is now running on our local system where we can input an image and we can give it a optional prompt. So now let's play around with it. And I have selected this Halloween, Halloween party image from it. And then um, it has, I just clicked on this decompose. Sorry, I didn't give it any prompt and now it is processing it. Let's check the VRAM consumption as it runs. So it is consuming just close to 60 gig of VRAM on my system as it is in full bloom. Okay, I think it takes around one minute or so. So let's wait for it to come back to create the layers and decompose the image. And because we didn't give it any prompts, it has randomly decomposed it. You can see that this is a main image. Then we have Halloween party. The text has been decomposed. Some goodies have been decomposed and they're not in the uh, most left image. And then there are few bats, as you can see. So I'm just going to click it. These are the bats. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and then you can of course export it as a PPTX. Let me now try it with a prompt. So I'm ask, asking it to decompose this image into distinct RGB layers. And it is running, takes around a minute or so. While it runs, let's talk about the architecture of the model in very simple words. Now, 
if you look at this architecture, it's not actually that hard. It is built on diffusion models like um, we have seen in our videos on stable diffusion or Dell E, but it is specialized for layer separation. There are three key parts of it. One is, as you can see, that RGB a v or variational autoencoder which is a special encoder decoder that understands both normal images and transparent layers and this is the one which can handle transparency as well then we have something called as vld mm dit here now this is a main brain which is a type of transformer they have built that processes the image and outputs a variable number of layers you can even uh, go into the code and change it to 3, 8 or whatever number of layers you want and then you can even further process on those layers. Then model is trained step by step first on simple single layer tasks then on multiple layers using real layered files like you know in Photoshop we have PST files to learn accurate separations. So this makes it an end-to-end -end system. Feed it one image and then it directly outputs multiple editable layers um, which you can check out. They also have shared a lot of other information on their model card. If you go through it, I, I'm just going to go here. You see this is a coin image layer. Different layers are being processed. And then uh, you can also, you know, use coin image edit model. There is another editing model to change the objects from one thing to another, like from a girl to boy, change the color or whatever you can do with coin image edit. If you are interested in Quen Image Edit, just go to my channel, search with Quen Image Edit, and I have done various videos on it. Uh, it's really one of the best models when it comes to image editing with AI. And I also have done various comparison videos too. So this is the architecture. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Let's go back to our Gradio demo. And there you go. So it has just separated it into uh, like these are the clouds, which is very good different and then this is the object um, the enemy character and if you really closely look here it hasn't really changed it uh, the character at all so there are some uh, you know imperfections like this is not part of here but you know what just because this cloud had just that hue of pink so maybe that is where model thought it is part of this so pretty good results I would say even it has just got these flowers as you can see very nice okay let's try out one more examples and now I'm going to go with this image which has some text I'm very interested to see if it can just get that text out especially this curved one <clears throat> let's check the VRAM consumption it has jumped to close to 66 gig of VRAM so it hasn't really gone beyond that so this is um, the VRAM you would need in order to run this model fully locally without any quant. Now, if you are a Photoshop um, designer or graphic designer and you were worrying about your job, I think you really don't need to worry much that much because uh, with the models like these, which give you an edge, so you just convert an image into layers and then do your magic. Creativity, innovation is still there. So, you can use this model for easy um, image, uh, you know, layer creation, and then you can uh, design your posters or whatever you are doing for your ads, memes, or presentations. And you can even build some complex workflows. Maybe combine this model with a coin image edit or any other editing model, and then go from there. Maybe just use it with Flux. Why not? Um, you can. I think if you just put it like this, like I have installed, expose an API endpoint and then just integrate it with your any design software and then go from there. Also, one uh, thing uh, which I have found out about this model is that you can even take one layer and break it into further into more layers. So I can just pick it up, save it and then we can go from there. Anyway, so yellow is there. It has just gone all the you know text like this this is another layer and this is another layer this is another layer so for instance i'll just you know save this image on my local system i just saved it and i'm going to upload this image.png from my local system this is a one and i'll just remove this also remove this 
let's go down and decompose uh, maybe I can just remove this I will let AI decide and let's decompose it let's wait for it to see what it decompose it and this is an infinite loop you can just keep decomposing it as much as you like and there you go so this is what it has generated this is separate looks cool and you see it has just this is a face and this is a glass there is no straw and then we have the um, whole person there so look you can already see the image is quite precise um, I won't say this is going to make Adobe dead but I think this is going to give a real challenge but I believe as a graphic designer you have one more tool in your repertoire let me know what you think I think next Gwen should work on something like uh, maybe just maybe text to SVG or maybe image to SVG for because that is that would be really helpful for production work to I think to remove step of manually tracing uh, there uh, you know one person's own artwork I think this is this would be really cool but up to Gwen let me know what you think please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that that's what keeps the channel going please also follow me on x if you're looking for ai updates without any hype thank you for all the support